Hey guys, this is uh, Jason. Um, uh, you guys can call me Fat Off King, uh, short for Feck. Um, today we're gonna be opening uh, Magic Corset 2019. I kind of messed up and opened one of them while I was at the uh, showdown today. Um, if you, as you guys can see, I got a Force DCI Champion of the Dust uh, Cro Chromium, Chromium, which actually helped me win one of my games. I play Esper. Um, and Champion of the Dusk. Um, I've been playing for a long time, uh, since uh, 2003, I believe. And, uh, you know, I, I won this uh, event today, and I won one, I think it was two or three weeks ago. Um, for some reason, I, I, I like playing control, and uh, if I play anything but control, I usually lose. Like It, it could be the, the most broken aggro deck, and I'll, I, I won't do good. Um, so I, I finally ended up uh, building my Esper deck, and first day I used it, boom, I, I won. I, uh, I went 4-1, uh, and one, uh, made top 8, and we played the whole thing. Um, so a lot of people have uh, never seen the, these. Um, um, you can only get them at the, your standard show, showdowns. Uh, they usually do them on Saturday, Sundays, Mondays. Some places do them Tuesday. It all, it all depends. Um, I'm usually all over the place for them. I like them because I like having DCI lands in my decks. Um, with these, uh, the only way you can get them o over where I play, uh, most stores, only first and second place uh, get them. Depending on the amount of players, you might get uh, five, uh, three. It all depends. Today, first place got three, second place got two because we were only, I believe, 16 players. Um... So not that many people. Um, the uh, there's there's they usually also, also raffle two of them to a, to a random table. So even even if you're not a good player, you have a small chance of getting these. Um, but we're gonna go. Oh, and just so you know, these aren't my hands. We're using uh, John's hands <laughs> because uh, I guess I have stubby fingers. Uh, my my fingers are too too fat <laughs> and they don't fit in the gloves so we we have a hand model today so go ahead john you can go ahead and open the first one <laughs> so let's see let's see what we get in this one i'm gonna try I, i'm gonna go to another showdown tomorrow and uh i'm gonna try to record it to see how i do i'm gonna try to win it even if they try to split at the end i won't uh, i'll just play the whole thing just to see if I can get more of them. Um, well, here we go. We got a... Uh, a What's that? A Josu vest. Um, uh, that's like my maybe eighth one. We, we can burn him. Um, the only match I lost was against, was against uh, Sarkhan's uh, unsealing deck. Uh, and it was hilarious. We were we were laughing so much because um, uh, he actually went 2-0 in the match. Uh, first game he he plays uh, he plays one. Um, I had a Teferi out and uh, he ended up killing my Teferi and then he went ahead and uh, you know I tapped myself out and then he played the the Sarkons. Um, so I'm like okay fine. Next turn uh, I can't remember what I did but he, I ended up. Uh, playing something i have have uh, a counter in my hand so he went again and played a second one so yeah that was pretty much gg right there every time he played a big creature he was hitting me with eight um <clears throat> uh crazy thing about that match was that uh second time i uh you know on our second game i play a lost legacy right and i say sarkhan's on ceiling and he looks at me and he starts laughing. He had pulled out all his sarcasm, all, all, all his uh, enchantments, uh, and he had placed them in his sideboard. So I just played a lost legacy on nothing, and we were both laughing so hard. I was telling him he was a troll. <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't get salty when I lose. Uh, this, the way I see it is. If I win, I get to the end. If I lose, it's good because sometimes I'm I'm really exhausted and I just want to go home. So sometimes when I'm 2-2 and I need uh, one game, and I might make top eight. I'm like, man, I don't care at this point. If I lose, I go home. If not, hey, let's see if I make it to top eight.
but yeah, um, I never get salty. A lot of people get salty with me. Um, I'm just there to have fun. Uh, there we have a DCI mountain. Uh, we can burn it because I don't play red. Oh, what's that? Oh my god, I thought that was a bolus. I was about to like flip out. Um, I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, I don't play dragons, but uh, it looks pretty nice. Is that foiled? Yes, it is foiled. Flying Vigilance, Trample, Palladium Wars. The Ruiner has hexproof uh, if it hasn't dealt damage yet. Oh, that's pretty interesting. All right, let's open our next pack. And I might make a series on salty players because, like I said, I'm, I'm always very positive when I play. I'm like happy even if you're if you're kicking my butt um i i actually do enjoy those decks that uh you know blow you out of the water by turn four they already hit you with like over 20 damage um i'm like oh my god i want to play what you're playing so i, I kind of like get excited about it uh here we have vizier of the many faces um she, she's pretty cool bad thing she's rotating um let's see what we have next Oh, cool! Another dragon, another legendary dragon. M19. Uh, it has uh, a couple uh, legendary dragons, uh, which you know it's pretty cool. Uh, this is Vevictus is Madi the Dire flying. Whenever Vevictus is Madi the Dire attacks for each player, choose target permanent that player controls. Those players sacrifice those permanent. Each player will sacrifice a permanent. This way reveals the top card of their library, then puts it on top of the battlefield. If it's a permanent card, hmm, interesting. All right, and I like that. I like I like a plane. Next one, and oh, rootbound crack foil, win win. <laughs> this was amazing, and the craziest thing about it is that you know, yes, I paid five dollars to play, but I ended up coming out with a thirty-five dollar credit plus I got these. Uh, rootbound crack, you know, you can't go wrong there. Foiled, I'll take it. Um, well, thanks for, thanks for tuning in guys and, uh, I'll see you next time. Yeah.